Okay, two pound coin hunt. 500 pound, all in sealed bags, just the way I like it. Uh, we've got a date of the 17th of the 8th, 2021, which means absolutely nothing, I guess, in this day and age of two pound coins where no new two pound coins are being released. So we are just looking for the last two coins to finish this book, which is the Commonwealth uh, Wales and the Commonwealth Northern Ireland. Just those two simple coins to find. Hopefully one or both are in this bag right now and we can finish this book today. Yeah, probably not. Okay, let's just get into this. Tip them out, not gonna bother counting them, just move them up a little bit. Just so I've got room to lay out my finds. And we'll grab the first bag. And, uh, oh, already, we've got a uh, Lord Kitchener. There we go, we've got something, so it's not gonna be a complete bust. Oh, there's a nice Britannia there as well. 15, or maybe 16. The 15 is a lower mince's year, so definitely more desirable. But a 16 is pretty cool as well. But there we have our first commemorative Lord Kitchener. There we go, your country needs you. Your coin collectors need you. So, where did I just put that Britannia? What did I do that, do that for? There we go, it's a 16. So, pretty cool still. 15s are oh, just that little bit cooler. Um, I've got plenty of them, so I may or may not be keeping that. Okay, second bag. Ooh, we've got some Pauls. V Day celebrations. There you go, a bit grubby. That will definitely be going back to the bank. Got much better versions of that coin to keep hold of. A skull, definitely a cool coin. Shakespeare's tragedies. Uh, may or may not be keeping hold of that. I've got plenty of all of these coins. Uh, oh, a couple of shiny Britannias there that I didn't bother to check the die rotation. It's a bit silly. Never mind. No, bus bag. One from the left-hand side. Another St. Paul's. Another St. Paul's. Something else there. What was that? Oh, Charles Dickens. Pretty cool. I do love that design. It's a great idea. The uh, the the titles of his books, making up his silhouettes. Another quite sharp actually. That's quite. Yeah. Another uh, tragedies. Oh, this bag just keeps on giving. That's the Trinity Lighthouse on top of Trinity House. Somewhere in the UK, I can't remember <laughs> where it is. I always thought it was uh, Greenwich. There we go, another St Paul's better one, a better looking one, far better. Um, yeah, I always thought it was in Greenwich, but I've got a feeling it's now Portsmouth or Southampton, so that way, I don't know. Someone tell me, please. I could Google it, I guess. But I've got you guys, so I don't need to Google it. There we go. Brunel's portrait. Cool. Another skulls. My way. Are we going to be able to do the Shakespeare triple today? Maybe, maybe not. I've only done it a couple of times. Well, actually, I think I've only done it once. And then when I did a video with Darren from Caledonian Coins, or he did a takeover video, or did we... Oh, sorry, I can't remember now. Um, and he found a Shakespeare's triple on my behalf, I guess. I've only done it once, I think. But not with 
bus bags like that I won't. Something nice and shiny dead centre. What a work, what a piece of work is a man. Shakespeare's tragedies again. Yep. Bust bag. Okay, we've got a uh, Brunel's station. There we go, a little, little bit mucky. Cool though. Um, tell you what, that's a good opportunity actually. I, um, I found this in my change the other day and that is a pretty cool version of that coin, isn't it? Very good, uh, great condition. Stunner, and I was wondering if that's better than the one in my change checker album, but I couldn't quite decide. But uh, that is pretty cool. I think there's a little bit of muckiness in the uh, rafters there, but it's not a bad version, but let me know the one on the left or the one on the right, which you think is best. Look at the difference in the color though. How that, this one's much paler yellow. And that's more of a goldy, orangey yellow. Anyway, which of those two do you think is best? Should I keep this one in my album or swap it over for that one? Yeah, right, let me know. But yeah, definitely this one's not going in my album, this mucky one, never mind. Another skulls, another tragedies. We've got loads of those now. Jesus, six of those now, 12 quids worth. And my favorite coin of all time, <laughs> a lovely Magna Carta. Lovely, lovely Magna Carta. Uh, my favorite two pound coin, let's just say that. I'm not sure if it's my favorite coin of all time. Um, hmm. Oh, what's that? What is that? I've been stitched up again. This is two videos in a row where I've been shortchanged. Apparently um, on Monday I found the Franks um, French francs in a coin hunt and someone said it's worth £1.50 so I'd actually made money but I can't be bothered to sell it to find out so uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight nine ten oh I've got extra there we go I'm 50p up is that right what's that about then how does that happen Three, five, eight, and ten. All right, fair enough, I'll take it. Got 50p up. Thought I'd been short-changed. Uh, 50p is 50p. Another Magna Carta. Wowee. Nice. Another St Paul's. Another stunner. Very shiny, 2015 um, technology, not Britannia. Another VE day. Act of Union. There you go, Act of Union between England and Scotland. Something shiny there. Something good, something horrible. Potentially the good, the bad. 1807. Another skulls.
Oh my word, yes, the good, the bad, the ugly. Oh my God, Charlie boy. Look at that. Oh dear. Look at Her Majesty. That's terrible. Oh dear, that's gonna be the thumbnail, I think. Yeah, that's a bit of a, a better Charles Dickens. <laughs> that's terrible. Let's put him there. There we go. Oh, I picked up. Oh! Ah, oh, look, I saw that. As I was glancing down, when I was putting the coins down, and I glanced down, I saw that, um, Oh no, what's his face? What's his name? Robert Burns. I saw that and I was saving that pack till last because I knew there was something in it. So when I picked up this one and saw that, I went, oh, I thought I picked up the wrong bag, but there we go. Two Robert Burns in the same hunt. That does not happen very often. Nice coin. Hey, look at that shiny army. World War One centenary. Very nice and shiny. Wow, sharp as well. Cool, uh, put him there. Oh, that's the, I have picked up the, <laughs> by mistake now. There we go, another Robert Burns. Much, I mean that is a, that is a good, that is in good condition actually. That is pretty good. Oh, another one. DNA. Pretty cool. DNA double helix. No Commonwealths. <sighs> Dear. Am I ever gonna find these Commonwealths? What did I say? I think I said I was gonna go up to video 30. I don't know which one this is. I've lost track a little bit. I think I'll go to video 30 and then Start all over again. Right, last bag. Great Fire of London in there. There we go. Cool find to finish on. And they're all gonna be technologies, aren't they? Yeah, just technologies to finish. Oh well. Wow, we! how good is that? <laughs> That's a mixed bag if ever I saw one. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shakespeare's tragedies in the end. Eight of them. There we go, I think they're all going back to the bank somehow. We ended up on five V days. Two Magna Carters, a 50p, 2016 Britannia, and a couple of weird, well, one weird, oh, two Robert Burns as well, but polar opposites of the Charles Dickens. Let's do it like this. No way. No way, look at that, if the camera will focus, it's a 2008 Britannia. <laughs> oh my god, it's a 2008 Britannia. That is ridiculous. What is going on? Did someone know that was a rare or a, a lower mintage 50p and put that in? Or was it just pure coincidence? Oh, that is nuts. 
I mean, I was going to say the good, the bad, the ugly, but uh, I can't be saying the good, and that that's not bad. That's not bad in any way. Well, there you go. It's the random world of coin collecting, isn't it? You just do not know what you're going to get from one bag to the next. Wow. That's a 2008 Britannia. <laughs> Weird. Let me know what you think about these two. There we go. Maybe that will be the good, the bad, the ugly. Don't know. Right, anyway, guys, thanks for watching to the end. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another episode. Like and comment if you wish to. But until the next video, please keep looking out for these absolutely wonderful coins to collect.